Hi everyone, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. In this video, I'm going to show you how our brand new iOS camera control app can control up to four PTZ Optics cameras. Coming up! So I'd like to show you this up close and personal here. Um, this is our brand new iOS app on a regular iPad here. And you can see that it's got a really slick little layout and allows us to control the pan tilt zoom of the cameras. And I've got two cameras set up here. I've got my right cam and my left cam. And this is only a $10 app and it makes the pan tilt zoom control of our cameras so easy. The first thing I want to show you here is the ability to set presets up here. So this is one of my favorite parts of the app because you can name your presets. So if we hit camera shot, it'll go directly back. And let me show you a quad layout here that'll show you kind of the full picture of what we're doing here. So here's my iPad here. And I've actually got the live video previews from here. So I can actually use the app to very quickly and easily find a place of interest. So maybe um, I want to go, let's see here, I'll find the spot right here. And I'll, I'll make that a preset. So let me take your full screen and show you what this looks like to create a preset here. So if I hold down, if I hit set button and then hit number two, it's going to allow me to name the preset. And I really suggest naming the presets because if you're working with other people um, and in your organization, they won't know what numbers one, two, three, four, five are. But if you put, you know, projector here, this is an old projector, but uh, projector, they're going to know exactly what, what you're talking about, whether you're talking about right stage or left stage. And now if I hit this button, and I'll show you this in the quad layout here, it will go ahead and go from one input to the next. So that's input one, go back to projector, and it will go to input two there. So very, very easy to set presets, and you can go back and forth between camera one, camera two, and go back and forth. Let me show you a couple screenshots of how this will look on the iPhone and the iPad. So here is the iPad layout, which we've been looking at today. Um, you can see here that there are nine presets at the top, and you can go ahead and hit set, um, and the number that you want to set, and then you can go ahead and name it. Um, in the middle there, we've got the ability to control up to four cameras, and I'll show you in a moment how to set all of that up. On the left, we have the ability to zoom in and out, and we also have the ability to turn on focus control. And then in the right is your pan tilt zoom joystick with variable pan tilt zoom speeds. Now let's take a look at it on the iPhone. It's laid out a little differently so that we can fit more buttons into the space. We have a little bit less real estate on the iPhone. Uh, but you can see on the top, you can quickly switch between four cameras. We've got the zoom and focus, the uh, all of the presets, and then the settings bar on the right-hand side. So let me show you a live uh, look at this iPad one more time, and I want to go ahead and show you how to use the settings to set this up. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit the settings button right here, and that's going to pull up. All it really asks for is the camera name so that you'll have a name for the camera when you have your four cameras to select from, and the IP address of the camera. The Visca port is going to be set to 5678, and that's standard. It never changes, so you don't even have to worry about that. The only thing you have to do is set the camera to be on your network with that IP address. Now, we have plenty of tutorials on how to set camera IP addresses, so that should be very simple for you to set up and, um, and use. So we'll have a link below if you've never set an IP address of your camera before. Both of our cameras here have unique IP addresses so we're able to switch between either of the cameras with the iPad app. It's available on the iOS store so we'll have the link below in the video description for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Take care everybody. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.